Good day, my fellows, and welcome to the second episode of the Ultimate Minecraft Guide. In the last episode, I told you how to use everything in the menu, and today we are going to cover the controls, and not only to walk in every direction or sprinting and jumping, but uh, really stuff that pros use to uh, be better in the game and to do things faster. So if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoyed, it, uh, consider leaving a like or subscribing. This is a very small channel, and I would love seeing it grow, so I'd really appreciate uh, every support coming from you. This video is going to be divided in three parts. In the first part, I want to tell you everything you can do with the keyboard. In the second part, everything with the mouse. And in the third part, everything you can do with the F3 button. Uh, because there's a lot you can do with that. And yeah, I just want to tell you about that too. So let's not talk too much and get right into the video. Starting off with the basic keyboard stuff. So as all of you know, uh, you can walk in every four directions with W, A, S and D. Though if you want to walk faster, you can press shift and W or double tap W. This is going to make you sprint and going to make you faster. You're going to be the fastest though uh, if you sprint and jump at the same time. So just sprint and keep jumping. This is going to make you faster. You can jump with uh, the spacebar. And if you are in creative and you press the spacebar twice, you're going to be able to fly. You're going to go up by holding the spacebar and you're going to go down with the shift key. There's a few more things that you can do with the shift button. You're not anymore two blocks tall, but you're only uh, one and a half blocks tall. Also, you do not fall off the edge of blocks. So uh, when I'm pressing shift and hold S, normally I would fall down now, but um, because I'm pressing shift, I stand at the edge of the block. If I now release shift and press S, I'm going to, to just simply fall down. As you might have guessed already, this is very useful for bridging and scaffolding. So, uh, of course, there are some PvP games that you uh, have to uh, yeah, bridge yourself to the other side, for example. Uh, but also, if you um, yeah, want to scaffold you around a building that you're building in a survival world, the sneak technique is very useful too. Something that you can also do with the shift button is um, make you not to be able to um, open interfaces. So if I now wanted to place a um, lever on this crafting bench, I wouldn't be able to because it would open the interface of the crafting bench. Now, uh, however, if I press shift, I'm not going to be able to um, open the interface so I can place blocks on the crafting bench, for example. And also, if you press shift, other players are not going to be able to see you anymore, uh, or at least not going to be able to see your name tag, because normally players can see your name tag through blocks, but if you press shift, they won't be able to do that anymore. Talking about other players, if you press uh, tap on a multiplayer server, you're going to see every player that is online, and with certain data packs, you're going to have some data about them too. Every number from nine to one uh, stands for one hotbar slot. So we have um, nine uh, hotbar slots. And if I want to go to the uh, second one very fast, uh, normally I would scroll with the mouse wheel, but I can do that also by pressing the uh, second button. This is uh, really useful to precisely um, yeah, switch your hotbar slots and also if you want to sort your inventory very fast and want certain blocks and items in certain uh, slots You can do that uh, as I said very fast with using those hotkeys if you want to pause your game You can press escape. This is going to open this little menu right here um, We can go back to the game. We can give feedback. Uh, we can uh, save and quit we can open the option menu, so there's just some stuff that we can do, and of course, if possible, uh, if we are not on a multiplayer server, we can pause the game. If you want to drop items, you can do that by pressing uh, Q. You can also hold Q, this is going to make it faster. And if you want to throw all your items away, you can do that by uh, pressing uh, Ctrl and Q. If your whole inventory is full with uh, stuff that you don't need, you can just uh, hold Q and Ctrl and hover over your whole inventory and it is going to yeah, throw everything out that you don't need. Also, you can open your inventory by pressing E. Uh, this is how it looks in the creative um, mode. So you have those categories uh, where everything is sorted. So you can just choose between it. And this is how it looks in survival. So you have this book right here that's uh, going to tell you uh, recipes. You have this crafting bench. Uh, you have your uh, armor and a slot for your offhand and of course your inventory with T you can open the chat So if there's something that you want the whole server or everyone uh, online to see you can um, 
yeah, do that by pressing T and you can also type in commands. If you want to put stuff in your offhand, for example your shield, you can do that of course uh, by dragging it in the offhand slot, uh, but also if you want to um, put stuff uh, instantly in your offhand without uh, having to go into the uh, inventory, you can just press F and this is going to uh, switch um, the stuff between your hotbar and your offhand too. And I told you earlier that you can enter the um, achievements menu with uh, pressing escape and then clicking on advancements. Um, but you can also do that by using L, this is the hotkey for that, so you can see all your advancements. We are very close to being done with the keyboard, uh, some last stuff. So we have the F1 button that is going to make your hot uh, invisible. This is very great for taking screenshots, which you can do by pressing F2. It's going to give you a little link that you can use yeah, to uh, see the picture that you've taken. Though if you lost the link um, to the picture, you can just click Windows and R at the same time and type in percent app data percent. Uh, this is going to send you straight to your Minecraft folder. Uh, which you can just get into and then have access to your screenshot folder. As I said before, I'm going to cover some more F3 stuff uh, later, but the basic the basic thing that you can do with the F3 button uh, is just this little debug screen. So you have just a ton of information that you can use. You have, uh, you see your FPS, you see on what version you're playing on. You have a lot of data to um, the block that you're facing, uh, you see your coordinates, uh, which biome you are in, it's really useful to uh, have, um, especially because of the coordinate thing. And yeah, as said, I'm going to tell you more about the F3 stuff later. And with F5, you can change your perspective. So uh, if you press F5, uh, as I said, you can change your perspective from first person to third person. And the last thing uh, with the keyboard that uh, I want to tell you about is F11. So you can uh, switch between window mode and full screen. Now with the keyboard stuff being done, let's get to the mouse stuff. So I think what everybody knows is that you can navigate with your mouse uh, in the Minecraft world or in inventories just by moving it. With left click, you can destroy blocks. Hit entities. If you got more than one item you uh, in your inventory and you click left click on it, you are going to pick all of it up at once. If you hold left click while spreading an item in your inventory, it's going to evenly split it. So we have, for example, now uh, four piles with each 16. If you have multiple items of the same kind lying around in your inventory in different places and you want all of it to be squared up in one stack, you can hover over one of them and double left click. This is going to put everything of it in one stack. With shift left click, you can transport everything instantly from uh, your inventory in a interface or from interface in your inventory. So if I want this block of netherite stack now to be in this chest, uh, of course I can drag it in, but this takes a lot of time. So what uh, I can do is press shift left click, as I said, it's going to be instantly transported uh, into the other inventory or into the other interface. Now what is really useful is that uh, if we for example have this right here and we want all of those netherite blocks instantly uh, in my inventory, of course we can uh, drag them uh, one at a time in or use the shift left click, but what works a lot better is um, taking another item and hovering it over uh, the item that you want all of in the other interface. And now what you have to do is press shift and then double left click and everything of this item, uh, every stack is going to be transported in your inventory or in a chest or whatever. With right click you can place blocks. If you have a stack or more items, uh, you are going to grab only half the items um, if you press right click. If you hold right click while spreading items in your inventory, it's only going to leave a single one. And you can also instantly transport, uh, for example, this stack of netherite blocks with shift right click. And the last one, the middle mouse button. So uh, of course with the middle mouse button you can scroll in your inventory between the slots. If you face a block, um, doesn't matter if you are in survival or creative, and press the middle mouse button you are going to um, transport this uh, item in the slot that you are currently in. So we have no uh, blue wool now in our hotbar and if I click the middle mouse button it's going to be instantly transported in our fifth slot. This works also in some sort of intelligent way. So for example if you are working with tools uh, you, of course you don't want them to be replaced by what you're clicking on. So if you have an enchanted tool and you we would now go ahead and click on the yellow wool 
uh, the enchanter tool and everything before it is not going to be replaced but the one after it. If the next one is an enchanter tool too, it's going to hop uh, to the next one and to the next one uh, and eventually uh, to the slots before of the enchanter tool. And if your whole hotware is uh, enchanter tools, it's just going to be replace the enchanter tool that you're holding. If you are in creative, you can click with the middle mouse button on uh, an item that you want a stack of. So for example, if we want a block, uh, a stack of blocks of netherite, we can click the middle mouse button and it's going to um, transform this one block into a stack. What also works is while you hold an item in your inventory, uh, hold the middle mouse button and it's going to uh, spread only stacks. And that was all the mouse stuff. Now with the mouse stuff also being done, uh, we are left with the F3 stuff. The only tutorial that I found about that was, I think, from OMGCraft uh, six years ago. So I think it needs some refreshment and it also, uh, yeah, is part of the uh, controlling of the game. So yeah, let's get right into it. With F3 and A, you can reload all the chunks. By pressing F3 and B, uh, you are going to be able to see the hitboxes of entities and you're also going to see which way it is facing. So as you can see, we see the hitbox of the chicken right now. That if I would hit it um, outside of the hitbox, it's of course not going to be hit, uh, but if I hit it uh, in the hitbox, it is going to be killed. Pressing F3 and C is going to copy your location to your clipboard. So if I would go ahead now to another place and uh, copy um, the thing that was just copied to my clipboard, we have this teleportation command that is going to teleport me right back to where I was. If you want to clear your chat, you can do that by pressing F3 and D. As you can see, we don't have anything in the chat anymore. With F3 and F, you're going to be able to cycle your render distance. So holding F3 and then pressing F multiple times is going to cycle up. And if you press Shift, then F3 and then F is going to cycle it down. With F3 and G, you're going to be able to see the chunk borders. The chunk is a 16 by 16 area in the game. With F3 and H, you're going to uh, activate advanced tooltips. This is really useful. So for example, if they're hidden, uh, as you can see, we have the time pickaxe and we see the attack damage and the attack speed. However, if we activate uh, the advanced tooltips, we are going to see that it is a uh, dime pickaxe, we see the attack damage, the attack speed, the durability, and we see its name in the code. Clicking F3 and I while facing a um, block on entity is going to transport all of its data into your clipboard. This is for way more advanced players, um, uh, so it's going to provide you with every information the code has about uh, this entity or block. So. Uh, you can see hurt by timestamps or memories or I don't know, I have no idea how it works. Um, but uh, yeah, I think this is very advanced Cody Minecraft stuff and I have no idea how that works. By pressing F3 and N, you're going to cycle between your previous game mode and spectator mode. This is especially useful for building, for example, so um, if you uh, build a house and you want to build something on the uh, outside and then you're like oh I want to go into the inside but I don't want to break through this glass and destroy my house uh, you can just press F3 and N go into spectator mode fly through the house go into creative mode again and keep on building I maybe should have told you that before but with F3 and Q you can see the whole list uh, of stuff that you can do with the F3 button <laughs> With F3 and T, you are going to reload all your resource packs. And with F3 and Escape, you are going to pause the game, but uh, without this um, Escape screen that we have right here. Uh, I used it previously in the video uh, when I showed you um, this uh, FPS stuff with the F3 debug stuff. So I did not uh, have to like freeze it in my uh, editing program. And now to the very last thing, uh, it's also new in the 1.16 update um, and it is the combination of F3 and F4. So you can cycle now between all those four game modes, creative, survival, adventure mode and spectator mode. And it's really useful, I think it's quite self-explaining. You can use your mouse to select it or just press F4 uh, multiple times. Because uh, before that uh, we only had the F3 and M option, uh, which was only going to change between um, the creative mode and the spectator mode, but now we can also uh, switch to survival and adventure mode. 
And with that being said, thanks for watching. This is the end of the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped some of you out. I would really appreciate a like or if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can do that below. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.